Join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today. This is your weather video for Saturday, April 10th, 2021. A few strong storms remain possible this morning before rain moves out and sunny skies return for your Sunday. Other than the potential of a few scattered showers and storms on Tuesday and Wednesday, the work week ahead looks to be mainly dry and nice. Just a heads up, I am producing this video just after 2 a.m. due to the ongoing severe weather threat, so you may hear some rumbles of thunder in the background. Here's what I have for you in today's video. Radar as of 2.10 a.m. shows a line of storms with heavy rain, plenty of lightning, and gusty winds was stretching from roughly Gadsden to Centerville to Myrtlewood. No warnings were in effect for north central Alabama at this point, but several were in effect for the southwestern parts of Alabama. Temperatures as of the 2 a.m. roundup were in the upper 50s to the upper 60s across central Alabama. Haleyville was the cool spot at 57 degrees, while the warm spot was Montgomery at 67 degrees. Birmingham was at 62 degrees. A severe thunderstorm watch was in effect for Bibb, Dallas, Green, Hale, Marengo, Perry, and Sumter counties until 4 a.m. The line of storms will continue to move across the area through the rest of the pre-dawn and into the first couple of hours of daylight on your Saturday. The good news is that much of the energy with the line was focused south of north central Alabama, and the Storm Prediction Center has reduced the risk definitions across the area. As of the 12.34 a.m. update, the southern three-quarters of Pike County and the extreme southwest corner of Barber County remain in a level 3 of 5 enhanced risk for severe storms. A level 2 of 5 slight risk is up for locations along and south of a line from Sweetwater to Jemison to in between Wadawi and Roanoke. A level 1 of 5 marginal risk is up for locations along and east of a line from just north of Livingston to Jasper to Huntsville. The latest model trends have the strongest part of the line moving out of the southeastern parts of the area around 9 to 11 a.m., with showers and a few embedded thunderstorms continuing across the eastern half of the area until 1 to 3 p.m. Rain for the western half of the area will taper off starting around 8 to 10 a.m. in the extreme west to around 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. for the I-65 corridor. Skies will begin to slowly clear out behind the line with afternoon highs reaching the upper 60s to the lower 70s. Sunday will be a bright and sunny day across the area as troughing will start to work its way out of north central Alabama. It will be a nice and mild day with highs ranging from the lower 70s in the northwest to the upper 70s in the southeast. Monday will be a much warmer day across north central Alabama as a flat linear flow sets up across the area. We'll have plenty of sunshine with highs reaching the upper 70s to the lower 80s. Tuesday will be a little cooler across parts of the area as we'll have a weak impulse work across the area that may bring a very slight chance of a few isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms. Afternoon highs will be in the lower 70s to the lower 80s. Wednesday will feature a little better chance of showers and thunderstorms mainly during the afternoon hours, but once again, a good many of us will stay dry. Skies will continue to be mostly cloudy with highs in the upper 60s to the upper 70s. Thursday looks to be a dry day across north central Alabama, but skies look to be partly cloudy. Highs will be in the upper 60s to the mid 70s. Friday looks to be an almost exact copy of Thursday's weather, a mix of sun and clouds with highs in the upper 60s to the mid 70s. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today, and remember, each day is a gift. Have a great day, and God bless. Join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today.